Woo! And we're back. Sorry about that, folks. We had I had some uh, problems with my with my mouse, and now I lost my glass. Oh, here they are. Okay, where were we? Oh yes. Mm -hmm. What was Ferdinand going to do? Well, Bill also seems to have uh, some sort of a plan. And yeah, but weren't you? Wasn't you somebody going to use the boulder idea? Hmm. My weapon is just kill uh, socks. So. Yeah, you have if I can... I wanted to use the baller system, but... Uh... Okay. <laughs> yeah, but you're on the falling thingy, I okay. don't know. Yeah, I know. It's best if somebody who's removed from the dangerous situation does that. <laughs> That's true. Well, so I need to throw a rock at the uh, boulder, right? Is yeah, that sure. No, no, yeah. no, throw a barrel at it. There are no <laughs> barrels. Well, I'll at at least try. It um, never hurts. I mm, guess. Mm, 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 mm. So neutral. Uh, do you want to spend the fate point? Uh, do I have something that I ah, yes, we precariously placed boulders. Let's use that. Yes. Okay. Right. A huge boulder falls down, and there's basically now a floating platform on the magma. So there, that was useful. Hey, Dreeth. Mm -hmm. That works perfect. <laughs> yes, let's use a team up. Hmm. All right. So, okay, what Shadow are the Shadow and Bill going, going, to going to do now? What we are going to do is we are going to both grab onto the tentacle that Bill has a hold of, swing down off the top of the octopus onto the now created floating platform on the magma. Use that momentum to swing the octopus around and throw it into the saucer. And I use the aspect channel your inner beast, so I summon the strength of a gorilla. Okay, uh, but the difficulty will be astronomical. Yes. Because I was mm -hmm. assuming you'd... Um... Swing okay, not to only do you want to save yourself, you also want to move a gigantic... Like Bill, yeah, it's like the size of not almost the size of a house. Octopus. The size of the size of yeah. Bill's um, Bill Hex's uh, ego, yes. It's, yeah, well, the difficulty. I'm not gonna say it's impossible, but the difficulty is astronomical. Well, it, it's falling already. We're gonna use that momentum to help. Yes, you're gonna make it fall upwards. <laughs> no, it, it, yeah, kind of. It's, we're going to slingshot it. If you'd say we want to do one or the other, I'd say, okay. But you want to not only throw the octopus at the no. enemy, you also want to save yourself. So, sorry, difficulty is astronomical. Hmm, what Why don't number is astronomical? The, uh... Wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh, warm air goes up, so... But what if we use this super cool to air uh, to aim at the magma and guide the robot to that spot so it actually burst up like a geyser? <laughs> what? I don't understand. I see. Oh, he's gonna super cool a uh, a section of the lava so that it creates a pocket of cool, and then the uh, magma is coolers. going to. Uh, or is yeah. that too complicated? Oops. Probably too Yeah, you guys are really making this too complicated. You well, want to do everything at once. Why don't we just <laughs> get ourselves to safety then? <laughs> Use the robots to get ourselves to safety. Ah, oh, that was my finger. To safety. All right. Then, yeah. Go ahead and uh, let's get ourselves to safety. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna... Hey, come on. Dinner ready? Yes. It is uh, actually earlier than uh, than expected, so I need to go now. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dawa, you'll just have to catch up on what happened on the recording. Yes, yes, I will. Now, um, yes, have a good one, everyone. Okay, yep. See you later, See you later. Uh, Dawa. Okay, so... Um... In that case, it'll just be an athletics roll. Okay. Well, for him. No, for both of you. Are you also... Bill's gonna do something just a little bit. More. <laughs> All neutrals. <laughs> Neutral. Luckily for you, that's gonna cut it. My so, athletics okay. is great. 
You where land is, on the platform. Where is the flying saucer? It's going upwards towards the, uh, yeah, the uh, top of the volcano. I know, but where is it? Is it over the magma? Is it over the... Over the magma, obviously. Land? Okay, how far up is it? Pretty far. Two zones. Two zones. So that's too far to jump. Yeah. Or is it? There's something you could do, but it requires a lot of uh, creative thinking, let's say. <laughs> you know what? I've still got hold of the tentacle, and that would give me a lot of momentum if I swung around. And use yourself as a projectile. Yeah, I'm going to use myself as a projectile. I am going to swing around the... Uh, the octopus using the tentacle as a sling and I'm going to swing around using my, and project myself straight up at the saucer using the force mm -hmm. of that to as well as my own force jumping off in a direction to propel myself up at the saucer you can try God bless it. <laughs> What's with you and God bless it? Where are you, Ned Flanders? Oh, dude. Come on, you gotta give that to me. That's good, right? Okay. There. Okay, you, um somehow managed to land on top of the saucer. Yeah! I, uh, grin. I look down at Doctrine and I grin. I'm back. He looks extremely annoyed at you. He just keeps pulling levers and, and buttons and he just keeps going upwards. That's fine. You like hear through his speakers? I don't know what you're trying to accomplish except for getting yourself killed. I'm just trying to show you that uh, you ain't jack squat compared to me, buddy. I'm Bill <laughs> Hex. Okay. He, like, keeps going upward. He, like, flies out of a volcano. There's this jet that passes by and he, like, clicks onto it. Oh, perfect. Dude, come on. I get to make a jet malfunction? Are you kidding me? This is going to be great. <laughs> you guys are in a lot of trouble. You've just lost Bill. Yeah. We found him a couple of weeks later in the Pacific, o Pacific Ocean. <laughs> and then you hear a, 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 a ominous voice. Self-destruct initiated. Hey, I got out of the self-destruct situation. Woohoo! <laughs> What a great team player. Yeah, isn't he? Yeah? <laughs> it's like, like you have like a raging bull in your, your party. He just <laughs> like is able to concentrate on one thing and one thing only. I see the oh, red flag. Are... In this case, it's Doctrine. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> okay. Um, um, God damn it. Uh, Spuffnum, your friend is still down there, though. How, uh, do you have any idea how to help him out? Uh, he's still down there. Well, uh, hmm. it, it was... If not, I'll just use Dawa's universal gadget that he still hasn't mm -hmm. used. <laughs> hmm. Maybe, maybe we can do something with that. So, uh, but, but I'm not sure how... I'm not very well familiar with that, how that works, so, uh, unfortunately. Uh, well, if you don't have any idea, you can still help out another way. You know what? So, Dao isn't here, but he still had he still hasn't used Universal Gadget, so he's li like, Aha! I knew th this uh, grappling hook shooter would come in someday, and he, like, fires it towards uh, the shadow of the jungle. You only use that now? So oh. you actually now have a rope to grab onto. That's, 
What you place? only use that now? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was saving it for a dramatically appropriate yes, moment. Bro. So, uh, I guess Ferdinand can now help uh, Dr. Stoltz to pull to pull up the shadow. Sure. Since Dr. Stoltz isn't a very physical person. Sure. He will uh, help. Okay. And, yeah, everything is, like, rumbling ominously. I think we should get out of here. Meanwhile, in Bill Hextown... <laughs> give me that Linux roll to withstand the, the currents. And not to fly fly off the plane to your doom. You know what? Have you used the universal gadget yet? Yeah, you've used it. No, have times. you used <laughs> you mean Dow's free universal gadget? Yeah, I just used it to create a grappling hook so he could pull the shadow. Damn to it, safety. I was going to create a grappling hook too. <laughs> hmm. So, yeah, you're in a very dead you're in a very deadly situation. What are you going to do? Okay, Put on the so timer. Honestly, as a GM, I don't see a very good okay, outcome. Okay, so you said he clicked onto the jet, right? It yep. It's like this. It's like this. This futuristic-looking black cargo plane, and he like clicked into the middle part, like on top of it. You still see him sitting there, even though he's like like pushing a few buttons. Yeah, no, but he, is he underneath he the jet or inside of the jet? Because I would be inside of it if he's inside of it. No, no, no. I said he clicked on the top part and you still see him there. It's like there's like a slot that the saucer connects oh, to. Oh, okay. So. You're on top of it. You're on top of the world. Okay. Yeah, you're on top of, an, of a plane. If this wasn't a Pope game, you'd be dead already. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> um, you know what he's going to do? Uh... First, he's going to preserve himself. Is, <laughs> I'm going to look around. Uh, I'm going to take a quick look around. Is there some place that Bill would be able to nestle himself into where he'd be semi-safe? It's the top of a plane, dude. There's nothing really I there. Know. Okay, you said the saucer clicked onto it. Is there like a wedge between the saucer yes. and the plane? That he can... You know what? Let's say I said there were, like, fans that it, like, used up to, like, move vertically. You know what? The fans have stopped spinning, so technically you can put your and hand then... in there now. And then he you activates them again. The fans, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um... I thank you! <laughs> All right. You, um, I'm going to... I thank you. <gasps> I'm going to... Uh... <laughs> use the gauntleted hand to hold on to that part so that I don't fly off. Oh, and it's still magnetic, so yeah. you're like... But click. what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few turns because this is going to be big. I'm going to take a few turns and I'm going to try and create so, uh, some kind of uh, spell using my gauntlet. I'm going to like scribble out the other part of or I'm not going to scribble out the other part, but I'm going to add on to it and it's get however many turns is needed to create such a blast that it will Richard, I'm going to warn you. You need to roll very high on at legs not to fly well, you said off. I'm magnetic or my gauntlet's magnetic. Yeah, still. Oh, yeah, you haven't rolled Linux yet. Okay. Give me a Linux roll first. <laughs> Crap. Ooh. Uh, no. That's Hold on. Hurt. Hold on. Uh, um, I'm obsessively observant, and because of that, I see a small little niche where my hand can fit into and grab hold. Yes, yeah, sir. You, you, like, found those yeah, plates you so could hold on to, sure. I'm going to try and re-roll that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I got a four. 
Okay, thanks to the gauntlet, you barely hold on. But it's like you have to use like all the, the force and all the strength you have to like not fly off. This is hard. Also, if you're gonna like create one... If you're like gonna start using the spell, you're gonna fly off. I only need my left, uh, my free hand to do it. <laughs> ah. You need both of your hands to hold on. Damn it. And is the jet flying off, or is it, like, hovering? Hey, oh, it's flying forward. Like I said, the, the, the saucer, like, it, it, it clicked onto it while passing by, and then it, like, immediately accelerated. Oh. It's like this entire thing was planned out. <laughs> Where, actually, you know what? Where are we right now? Are we still over the island, or are we over water? Uh, yeah, but it's it's next next okay. turn you're gonna be over water. I knew I was gonna lose, so I took this death. <laughs> okay. So and then you see you he doctor just grins at you, waves, and then his seat starts lowering, mm -hmm. and you don't see him anymore. Meanwhile, the heroes uh, rescue their uh, friend uh, Shadow. And yes. then I guess you're gonna make a quick run for it. Oh wait, we must uh, talk to the vo yeah the volcano. Never mind, the base is gonna explode. <laughs> so what are you guys gonna do? Hmm. I'm also talking to Spuffy. We must obviously. ask the volcano to guide us out of here with a cocoon of, of stone. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Rough yourself in a bubble. Well, if only we had such a bubble. Uh, by the way, is uh, the how about that saucer thing? It probably doesn't float or anything on the magma, right? Uh, well, the what one. Oh, I, I forgot, by the way, the octopus thing, it, like, exploded oh, so when it, exploded. when it, like, hit yes. the magma. And probably the rocks won't be good. I think we must them. get out of here very fast. Let's do you the elevator. Indeed. Let's use the elevator. Yep. Let's go. <laughs> the elevator, oddly enough, still works. Where is my fellow American? Bzz, cling. So you're like, I'm gonna get to Bill in a moment. I'm, I first want to finish this this thing. So you're like, I'm like, and I'm gonna speed up. You're like running for your for your life, and suddenly the rumbling stops, and there's a uh, very friendly voice coming over uh, the speakers, and it, it go it goes, "Don't worry, friends. As as promised, I found my way over to uh, the." Uh, Generator Ooh. room, and I found this little bomb there. Who is that? I managed to disarm <laughs> it. No worries. Only the world's most compact genius. And then somebody else take, takes over. It's us, the manufacturer. Don't worry, we've disarmed the bomb. <laughs> oh, come on, up, bro. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know who well, the men of action Bill are. Hex is still in trouble. He uh, flew with uh, the uh, doctrine uh, uh, on some sort of a jet. Uh, some sort, sort of airplane. airplane. Cleaning <laughs> on the <laughs> jet. We don't know yes. even what the jet is in these days. Trouble right now. Plane. A plane. You don't know what a plane is. Okay. Um, and. And then you hear uh, you hear uh, the small man. By the way, as a name, it's uh, it's uh... wow. It's uh... no <laughs> Doctor Colossus. Shut up. Okay. Anyway, His small man says what? His name completely eludes me at the moment. Apparently, Chris, what's you... What's your, what's your what's your character called again in, in uh, the Wolfman? What's he? What's Wolfman? his last name again? Cartwright. Cartwright. Yes. Okay. Uh, Ti Tiberius Cartwright. Wow, his name really. But his last name is Cartwright. Anyway. <laughs> wow. Thank you. I completely forgot to name my own character. It's getting late. Okay. Theodore Cartwright sa says. Well, we could, uh, there is a vehicle bay on the first floor. 
We could take a look mm -hmm. over there. Perhaps, Perhaps there's go. something we could use. Then again, I think it might be mm -hmm. full of robots too. So well, there we is. have some. Well, we tried. No, <laughs> just kidding. Or we could try making it over to the action ship and oh, see if I can get the emergency the jet engines to work again. Uh, yes. <laughs> Which everyone is okay. closed. Admiral Action, Admiral Action says he's probably oh. dead. We should make the most of things and try to make a run for it. Before no, more we robots do not arrive. leave a camera behind, <laughs> even though he would, but... <laughs> Even though he no, did. actually he didn't. He made yeah, sure the shadow behind. was safe before he did what he wanted to do. Yes, in the middle, on an island in lava. I was perfectly safe. <laughs> you have a spear, you can pull a vault. <laughs> okay, but seriously, what are you gonna... It's, it's up to you guys. What are you gonna do? You're uh, gonna try to first escape, escape, or are you gonna try to go get after the Bill somehow? the natives and we find Bill at the ocean. <laughs> we do? No, you have a boat. You already have a boat, remember? It only needed repairs and you left behind some an engineer uh, who probably was able to do that in the days that you were gone. So mm -hmm. You guys are probably assuming at least boat. one boat works Very now. Big boat. <laughs> so you're gonna run through the jungle? <laughs> okay. No, cool. I'm okay, over the water back now, Back right? to uh, Bill Hex. What are you going to do? You see Bill... Uh, uh, yes. Uh, he's going to let go with his gauntleted hand. He's going to smack the jet plane twice. And he's going to take a dive into the water. <laughs> okay. Um, and you know what? Let, let's say you sure. spend your final fate point to be certain you survive the jump. Okay? We'll use your obsessively exactly. searching for your father. Duh, because duh, if you die here, you ow. won't be able to find your I'm father. I'm going to swim towards the island. Do I so see the boat? Sploosh. That we came on? Okay. No! Hold on! I, I, I need to, to do something <laughs> dramatically appropriate here. <laughs> No, no, no. The dramatically appropriate thing would would be that he smacks mm. into the water so hard that he loses consciousness, but he survives. But, um, hours... No, wait. Let's just say an unspecified amount of time later, a boat comes Luckily, to pick him up. Luckily, I could track down his magical gauntlet <laughs> using my mysteries. And... Exactly. And uh, Emma, uh, there, uh, the German the uh, doctor the lady manages to revive <laughs> you. Uh, and um, okay, hold on. <laughs> yes, let's uh, say she uses CPRs. Live, please as, live. Uh, got, got in him, please, he, please spare his life. As he wakes up, he pretends that he's still laying there, so that she has to lean in. Give him another kiss, and as soon as she does, he reaches up and he grabs <laughs> her and he kisses her and he says, "Thank you, my dear." Lady. Yeah. He's like, "Ah, oh, I see you're still alive. <laughs> what, what a relief!" <laughs> she like quickly pushes you away, and she pushes you. Actually, she pushes you away. You, you like fly straight to the floor. She's like, "Oh." So I yeah, sometimes don't know my own strength. Which is about, you know, well, you have to you I have am. to remember she's the world's strongest <laughs> woman. <laughs> no. Oh, nice. <laughs> she actually has the stunt Herculean strength and whatnot. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway, so yes, you guys make it. Luckily, all of your uh, crew members are uh, still alive. Like. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the captain and uh, Francois, and of course mm -hmm. also um, mm -hmm. Joe. Wait, here we go. Francois, yeah, the yeah. captain, um, Kenny, uh, Thomas. Of course, he already has some tea prepared for you for when you wake up. 
And uh, you assume the engineer is also still uh, is also alive, but okay. of course you as, don't really hear him say anything that up, you I'm going understand. To, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna walk over to my group, and I'm with my head hanging, and I'm gonna be like, "He got away. I tried to stop him, guys. I'm sorry." Dawa isn't here, but I'm certain Dr. Stoltz would, would berate you on you just alive. jumping after the that enemy the and not thinking. Thing. No, it isn't. <laughs> All right, yes, guys. It is. Don't if I me. died, another Centurion would come around. I was trying to stop him. Yes, but then your death would be in vain and all your quests would be unfulfilled. Yeah, I guess. I just wish I could have stopped him. I spent a fate point that I took a seed from the life tree. <laughs> Fruit. Okay, sure. No, you don't need to take a seat. Let's just say you, you have one of the fruits or something okay. that you found in the lab, because that's actually... I forgot to point that yes, out, but I that's actually what Dr. America was studying. Grow, uh, so you found one uh, of the fruits from the, the lab. You, you took it from the lab. Okay, and uh, the world's most compact genius approaches you and says, Unfortunately, there's something I didn't have time to... Uh, mention i found this really uh, intricate contraption in doctrine's base and it rem it's let's just say it was a machine that that's very reminiscent of something another another contraption that one of our fellow uh, centurions uses he calls himself the traveler have you ever heard of him no <laughs> well, mm. well Put Does anybody want to roll academics travel, to then? see if they know? Sure, let's roll. Academics. Hmm. So superb. Just both of them know. I got uh, a good. Uh, oh, you actually also know. Okay. Both of you know that the traveler is some sort of enigmatic centurion who is said to be a time traveler. And of, he, he constructed a time machine. A time machine is one of the Century Club's most guarded, well-guarded secrets. And, and yeah, it's just something... You've never seen it before. It's just a story you heard other Centurions talk about from time to time. No one... Uh, no, none of you have ever, ever seen it in, in real life. <laughs> okay. So, what about this time traveler? Ah, uh, so you've heard of him. Well, uh, yes. I, this machine we found in the room at Doctrine's base was very, very uh, s similar. So you mean Doctrine is trying to travel in time? Wait, if he was no, trying he to... he has traveled through time. Remember, that's what Doctrine said, he had knowledge of the future. Oh, so wait a minute. Then, if he's traveled through time, what makes you think that he might not be able to do it again? Because we destroyed the machine, just to make sure. How do you know that he doesn't have the blueprints or schematics for it? This is a good point. I just think it's... His area of expertise seems to be robotics. I don't think he'd be able to make a intricate machine like a time travel device. Of course, there's a possibility, but I don't know. Uh, my expert opinion would be that he probably hasn't made it himself. Well, then we uh, our next mission would be to find out who made this for him. Well, we'd probably have to find the Traveler, but he's very, well, reclusive and mysterious. Could it also be that the Traveler is a she? There's also a possibility. We'll have to look into it. But yes, that is a problem to be solved on our next adventure, my friends. And yes. And is there anything else I still need to bring up? Oh, yes! In the meantime... I know what I need to bring up. Yes, Richard? I was going to say, and Bill Hex grins as he walks over to the German lady. And he says, in the meantime, me and this little lady over here are going to do some arm wrestling. <laughs> 
I, I, you, I do not think that is a very good idea, sir. You will, I will, I might break your arm on, uh, uh, on accident. You should uh, not waste your breath, my dear. He does you, not know when to quit. <laughs> you see, Bill just grinned and he says, "And that's why I got you here to fix me up, my dear lady." Okay, and then suddenly, like the captain rushes in, ca Captain McGruff like rushes in. Ah, you, you all, you all like, like ignoring the biggest problem of all. It, we're all gonna die. Explain yourself. <sighs> the lady serpentine ship is still at the bottom of the sea. We're never gonna recover her. She's, she's gonna kill us all, and specifically me. Well, then that's your problem, I suppose. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> give me a diving bell. and Or give me and the lady a diving bell. We'll bring it up. I do not believe big we deal. have a water mine. <laughs> yeah, uh, but there's like a big hole in it that you can't really repair with having without having the necessary material. So you'd we can probably use the have men to of leave action it behind. Ship. We can use the men yeah, of action. Yeah, but that's what you're on at the moment. <laughs> That's what you're on at the moment. And that relaxation isn't going to sacrifice a ship to save another ship. Okay, well but then. But you could, screwed. like, suggest to come back for it later. You're my friend. I want to come yeah. <laughs> We will come back for it later. <laughs> <sighs> thank, thank you, Bill. I, I owe you one there. Let's just, let's just hope we can do so before the lady discovers something has gone wrong. Don't worry if the snake lady starts coming after you. I'll charm her with my flute. Is that I don't way? think that will, will work. I heard last time you did it, she uh, whipped you real good. Literally. <laughs> because she uses a whip. Well, that was only because that was part of the fun. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, and so, I, I think this is a good moment to end. Right, guys? Yeah. Yes, we all start laughing now. Ho, 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 ho. And so, our brave heroes uh, depart towards the sunset. Destination, adventure. And who knows what happened to Dockman, but one thing is for certain. Wherever he may appear, the Centurions will be there to greet him with fists. <sighs> the end. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys for... Uh... Sticking with me for the entire Mystery of Monster Island adventure. I hope uh, everyone enjoyed themselves. Actually, that was a lot funner than I would have thought that it would be. <laughs> Seriously. But I, I, I will say this. We need to stop having so many different... Uh, so many different... Uh... Campaigns? Games? No. Opposite Camera. ends of the spectrum on the team. Yeah, but... Oh, the German yeah, scientist, the American mage, I mean, completely opposite spectrums of the team. Plus, they just got out of a war. So there's a lot of mistrust. I mean, we need to we need to start having a little you more. You are very chaotic. We need to... I don't want to brag, but I think my my uh, character, Samantha Serpentite, would add some some more um, har harmony to the team because she's more of a caring leader type who wants everybody to work together so i and if they don't listen she'll whip them into yeah. shape but seriously I, I think she would she would like want people to work together so she might be beneficial well it's to the not team. Just, it's... and that actually brings me oh go ahead that actually brings me to my next point um although Mi mystery of monster island is over and done with and it'll probably be a while before I pick up Spirit of the Century again. That doesn't mean a Spirit of the Century is over, because our next GM for Spirit of the Century will probably be Drees of all people. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Yeah. But uh... yeah, he has a he, he has a very exciting adventure planned for us. So that means we will be out without our jungle savage with the magic spear, and I will get a chance to play Samantha okay. Serpentite, which will be a lot of fun. I will probably. say this though, um, with the way that Bill, ha uh, with the way that the magic has been working in your campaign, Ramses, I Bill Hex was yeah, I know, I know it what you was mean. supposed to be at work a little bit differently. Uh, the magic doesn't come from outside influence; it comes from inside of him. Hmm. 
that's not really how the magic the magic works in this uh, thing. But I know what you're getting at. Magic is very very uh, well hard to use and stuff like that. But we're and and it's kind of vague on what you can do with it and what you can't do with it. Yeah, it's a book. It's 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 like super so, vague on the aspect of magic. It's actually it actually is more or less discouraged that heroes use, but I allowed. But anyway, even though I love Spirit of Century, I more like love the the story behind it than the actual then rules. Why don't, don't we really make like up our own rules much. for the magic? <laughs> For next time no we're like i said like i said uh to you guys and like off the air obviously we're gonna switch to the atomic robo rpg and in that system we can make the rules a lot clearer on what you can and can't do and then there won't be so much arguing about you can you can do that you can't do that okay. blah, blah, blah. Right. it'll solve all, right. all our problems all right, well then, gentlemen, I have to head out. Uh, have you stopped the recording yet? No, I have <laughs> not. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, is there any any other things I still need to say? Oh, yes, I'm going to take a, a break for, from GMing for a while to work on a couple of uh, new projects. One of them is, of course, our super special anniversary special. I think this will all, the anniversary special will also be one of our most populated games because... Way things are looking, I wouldn't be surprised if if I have six players to work with all of a sudden. That'll that'll be new, but yeah, that might be nice. interesting. <laughs> all right. Okay, but I think that'll be all for uh, the uh, announcements. So yes, we are all adventure down. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. And We're stay tuned right. next week. Stay tuned next week for mutants and masterminds heroes yes. before that time. Good night. Out out thanks to our game okay. master. Thank you. Oh, thanks to you for yeah, bearing with me. So <laughs> <laughs> In any case, that's all. That's all from us for today. Keep on rolling those dice, and until next. Time.